I'll click on the Motion Study Properties item to show and discuss the settings I used. I increased the frames per second from the default 25 frames per second to 1000 frames per second. This will capture a frame for animation purposes every millisecond. I selected the Use Precise Contact option, which overrides the slider bar settings here. This is the highest setting you can choose, and it may noticeably slow down the calculation if your model has many contact sets. This accuracy slider bar was actually set down one notch from the default. I did this because during initial runs, the solver stopped just after collision, and the message suggested to decrease this setting a little bit. Now I'll show some settings and advanced options. For the integrator, I changed the default from GSTIFF to WSTIFF, and I'll show why in a moment. Also, the integrator initial time step size was reduced to 0.01 millisecond in an attempt to capture the high rate phenomena, such as the projectile collision with the pendulum. The default setting is one tenth of a millisecond. This setting, called Jacobian Reevaluation, was also adjusted to its highest setting, which contributed to a successful solution, but can increase the solution time. I'll click on the help to show the WSTIFF integrator. I selected the WSTIFF integrator over the default GSTIFF integrator because it can handle abrupt events better than the GSTIFF integrator. The bottom line with all of these settings is, although the default settings work very well in most cases, you may need to experiment with the settings to successfully solve high rate, short time duration events with contact and collision. Here's a plot of the bullet projectile velocity. The muzzle velocity shows as 124 meters per second, which agrees well with the kinetic energy imparted by the firing spring. This is a plot of the bullet projectile momentum. You can see the momentum at the exit is 0.322 newton seconds. This agrees well with a hand calculation of mass times muzzle velocity. This is the momentum plot of the pendulum. You can see the maximum is 0.306 newton seconds, so about 5% of the initial momentum was used to bounce the bullet projectile in the opposite direction. Here's the kinetic energy of the pendulum mass. Immediately after impact, we see the maximum here is 0.093 joules. The maximum vertical displacement of the pendulum is 0.019 meters, so the maximum potential energy of the pendulum, or mass times g times this displacement, gives 0.093 joules. This demonstrates energy conservation. 